guys, welcome back to Kitchen War Gamers and welcome back to the Battle Bunker. Um, first off, a uh, bit of an apology. Um, you probably see this on a lot of my videos actually. Um, this is the first video of uh, 2024, um, end up coming towards the end of January. Uh, well, I think it's about the 18th now. Um, not too sure, lost track of the days. Anyway, I haven't done a video now for um, a couple of months. Uh, basically, I work in retail and obviously with the Christmas period coming up and um, it's been very busy as well uh, just after Christmas. Um, lots of hours being done, um, even working days off. Um, all my shifts have been very early morning, getting up at about five o'clock or even four o'clock to get into work, doing 10 hour shifts, coming home. I've not felt like uh, doing a video for quite a while. Um, basically just knackered. Um, but here I am, I'm back. And um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do on this video is tell you what's coming up in uh, 2024 or what I'm aiming to do. It'll probably all change by then. Uh, I'm just gonna look down, I've got some notes. Uh, brain's not working properly. Uh, trying to remember everything. Um, so, okay, uh, enough of that. Um, also, just before we go on as well, um, I like to aim to get a video out uh, at least uh, once a week, or if not, um, once every two weeks. But the thing, the way things are going with me hours at work and everything, um, I'm not going to aim for a specific time. I'm just going to do videos when I can and if I can. So um, I just want to say thanks to all my subscribers, bearing with me and I hope you do uh, still keep with me with this and also to all the new subscribers which I've had um, thanks very much for that as well and I uh, hope you stay along uh, watching Kitchen Wargamers. Okay enough of that let's get in uh, to what I've got my ideas for 2024. Obviously the last video I did um, I think it was towards the end, uh, beginning of no uh, December probably the end of November I'm starting doing uh, videos on uh, Valor and Fortitude, learning the rules. I have done an introduction video of that, uh, which will be the one uh, before this. Um, and I'm still going to carry on with that. Um, you know, I've, I've still got the table set up in front of me. Uh, the model's out ready for doing that, but with not having time to do anything, that's still there. But that is what I'm aiming to do this year as well. Um, so if you want to learn Valor and Fortitude with me, um, it's play along and learn along with me as I go. Um, please keep popping back for that. Um, <clears throat> I'll be doing more uh, hobby updates. Um, obviously I'm on my own about 99% of the time now. Um, because the other guys are busy as well. Um, and my days off are uh, few and far between and they're always split as well and like I said uh, I'm usually really zonked out um, through uh, doing the hours I'm doing however uh, as we're getting out of um, January now um, you know everything should start calming down where I work um, but the other guys are all still busy as well so it's just getting together when they are here they'll be coming as guests and hopefully do some hobby time with them or even get some games on the go with them as well. So more hobby updates um, will be coming, showing you what I'm working on and the stuff I've finished as well. Um, War of the Roses, uh, that's still going. Like I said, that was um, a bit of a side project uh, from last year. Uh, I'm going to still slowly plug along with that. I'm not aiming to get it done by a specific time, but if I can get it done this year and hopefully get a battle report in, fantastic. But like I say, it's a bit of um, a side project, um, but I'll, I'll keep um, picking at it and obviously show you in the hobby updates where I am with that as well. Also on my SAS, I've virtually got all the vehicles done now uh, from the last update. I think I still have two, video, uh, two vehicles left to do. I've, I've painted them up and they've been um, uh, given a coat of uh, inking, uh, a wash. Um, they're virtually done now. I just need to do some uh, dry brushing on it and then they're done. Then I just need to do the crew for them and that's my SAS project uh, virtually complete. And then all I have to do then is do a few battle reports with them, see how they go, probably alter 
uh, the troops I've, I've got with them but if you see one of my last videos of that uh, you'll see where I am with the troops and that might change but virtually there now with the SAS um, okay what I'm going to do uh, any battle reports um, you know I've got Blood Red Skies as a side project as well as a side game um, Bolt Action and Valor and Fortitude um, probably some Black Powder and hopefully when I get the Wall of Roses done, about reports on them. These will probably not, like I said, 99% of the time they're going to be solo game reports. Um, so bear with me that. When I can do them, I will be doing them. Um, okay, it's just a quick one. Uh, just some ideas I've got uh, as I'm going along. And it's a new year. And I've been humming and hawing. I have seen this game being played, and I've decided to buy the bot, uh, starter set uh, for a new game system. Um, as you can see, all my games that I play at the moment are all uh, historical or based historical wise. So I fancy doing something in fantasy. And this game system, I bought the two player starter set. Um, I'm not going to say much more about it. Um, I'm just going to work in the background with it and when it's ready I'm going to go bang there you go and uh, see what I've done and um, so yeah keep an eye out for that one um, I'm not going to say more about it it's sort of like a secret project as you would uh, as you would uh, take it um, but yeah it's going to be fantasy uh, I've got a two player starter set uh, once all that's done built and I have actually uh, built one of the units from it. Um, I'll do some test painting with that. And uh, when it's all finished, that's when I'll show you that one. Um, what I'm going to do as well is um, buying War Games Illustrated. Um, quite often or not, you get a free sprue with it from different you know, time periods or, or model sets and things. They're sitting to one side at the moment. But what I've decided to do, and there's a lot of... Um, box sets out there you know different units from different game systems different periods fantasy historical um sci-fi what i might do is do some uh, buy the odd box set every so often just as a bit of change up for things um do an unboxing of it paint it up and just show you it's not you know not for something i'm going to get really deep into just like one-off things you know a bit of a change up and just for a bit of fun for me as well. Um, so I'll keep an eye out for that one. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, Got to keep on um, me other usual stuff as well. Uh, probably adding to bolt action. Um, Black Skies. Uh, Black Sky. Blood Red Skies. Um, you know, I've nearly done the start set. Uh, I'll probably keep it like that. I'll probably add one or two aircraft. But, you know as I go along I'll be showing that in the hobby updates okay short and sweet um, just while I've got a bit of energy in me um, so yeah keep an eye on us um, like I said I'll be doing a video when I can I'm not going to put specific time periods on it uh, so I want to get a video up which will more or less be hobby updates just showing you what I'm working on and things that I finished so um, yeah, that's enough waffling from me. And just once again, I want to thank everyone who subscribed. Uh, all my old subscribers, all the new ones, thanks very much. It means a lot to me. And especially uh, keeping with me as well um, through these, uh, well, not difficult times, but, you know, real life uh, getting in the way. So um, please like, subscribe, leave any comments. I always get back to you. And um, yeah, that's great. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye now. See ya.